Good morning from Newark International Airport. I'm here with my mom. Hi. We're off to Freeport, Bahamas. aftermath of breakfast at the airport we have a layover in Fort Lauderdale so we're here for what three hours two hours uh, and then we're going to Freeport Bahamas all right <laughs> we have to walk down this tarmac or whatever this is we're in Florida but I have my winter coat on I don't know if you can hear me We are on the small plane from Fort Lauderdale to Freeport, Bahamas, getting ready for takeoff. Very small. <laughs> they had to move people from the front of the plane to the back to make sure that the weight was evenly distributed. Yeah. waiting for the shuttle to go get our rental car. We are in our rental car. Everything is on the opposite side of the road in the Bahamas, so. They gave us this nice little reminder, so as we're driving, reminder to keep left. Okay. Home sweet home for the next seven days. Day one was a success. We drove around Freeport, got our bearings. I got some scuba diving trips planned. We are gonna go swim with pigs on Monday. We're gonna go kayaking through mangroves on Thursday. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have a fun week. Right now, we are just hanging out, getting ready for bed and planning what beach we wanna go to tomorrow. Good morning, it's day two in the Bahamas. I have to be quiet because my mom is still sleeping, but she made this awesome fruit bowl yesterday, so I'm excited for breakfast. Good morning. It is the first day in the Bahamas. My mom is still sleeping, so I decided to go out for a run. It's gonna be like a mile, maybe. Um, go over to the ocean, get some beautiful views, and get my day going. It was a quick run to the water, so I'm gonna do it a couple times and then I'll stop and enjoy it some more. Lap one. One and a half laps. I was only going to do three, but I have to go back and explore the water. Lap three and a half. Good way to start the day. Two. Don't want to get the other. 
had to just take them off, but my feet are sweaty and I don't want to put my socks back on. That was a good run. I'll probably run the half mile back. I think, according to Google, I did four miles. Uh, I'm not sure what my app on my phone says, but I'll check. Uh, I ran three and a half so far. If I run back, it's four. Uh, I'll probably jump in the ocean at the hotel because I can take my socks off and not have to put them back on with wet feet. So that is the thought process. But first, I think I will explore a little bit. probably got to it. And yep, inside it's just sand. Beautiful shell though. Here is a little patch of dried up coral. That's coral for sure. This one's still a little wet. take note of for whenever you guys are traveling. Any patches of ocean like this often have little ecosystems in there. So you don't want to step in the water and, you know, kill anything, mess up the habitat or possibly contaminate it with, you know, whatever lotions are on your body or your sneakers, whatever might be on your sneakers. So just something to keep note of. You can see all these little track marks are probably either little snails or some kind of shellfish. You can see there's little flora right there. There are little snails on the rocks. More snails and flora. More track marks. Snails. It's just important to be aware of where you are and your surroundings and, you know, the habitats and ecosystems you're entering into and just to be conscious of you know where you step in how your footprint is affecting the area you're visiting so this little area i'm in is called ocean reef jetty and i found some cool little treasures hidden throughout this area uh, yeah it's time to head back i see i'm sure my mom's awake by now so i want to go join her uh, maybe jump in the ocean go snorkeling Jetty. Now, on this side of the jetty is some really beautiful water. And then someone added rope swings. I don't know that I'll be swinging off of them, but if my brothers were here, we definitely would have. Only thing that's a bit of a bummer, actually, let's be real, a huge bummer, is uh, all this trash. There's so much trash. The whole entire run here, all along this area, just like clothes to go bags for food. Just so much junk. And we got a freaking car seat here. Like, not a kid's car seat, like a full seat from a car. A whole garbage bag here, it looks like. Um, there's tons of clothes, it's very weird. And this is in, um, from what I can tell, this is not stuff that's washed up from the ocean. This is just garbage. Almost seems that like this might be a spot that people come 
and party at. Okay, breaking my heart. Just trying to enjoy the beauty and not get too wrapped up in being sad about pollution. I'm running back. Decided to make the run because I took a nice long break at the water there. And yeah, I'm feeling energetic. So I'm gonna get back to the hotel, find my mom, and see what's in store for the rest of the day. Didn't even get far into my run. Just wanna show you that there's garbage along the entire run. The entire run. Okay. Finish lap four. Okay. okay. I made it back to the room. My mom was reading. She was having a nice morning. Uh, we are in the car. Well, she's not yet. She ran into the convenience store, but she's about to get back in the car. There's a really cool attraction here where you can swim with the pigs in the ocean. Um, we had bought an excursion to go do that tomorrow, but since we have a rental car, we kind of think the excursion is just covering the cost of the shuttle. Well, cost is going to see them plus the shuttle, so it's expensive. So we're thinking if we go there, maybe it would be a little bit less expensive. So we're gonna give it a shot. Either we will see the pigs today or tomorrow, um, but there's also Paradise Cove right over there, which has awesome snorkeling, which I definitely would like to do that as well. So I'll keep you posted as the day goes on and you get to see what kind of adventures we get into today. Looks like she got a bag at the convenience store, which is actually quite helpful because we've been needing extra bags. Ah, nice. <laughs> Good call on We're the bag. We're gonna need that, $10. Good call. Perfect. Oops. Zooming in. Okay. All right, I got her in the car okay. now. All right, so where are we going, mom? Pigs? Pigs. All right, let's go see the pigs. We got to the place where you do swimming with pigs and it is closed. Uh, it's probably closed because it's Sunday or you really do have to do the tour to do it. Um, I guess when we're here on Monday, we can ask. Either way, we're gonna do it with the tour. Now we're gonna try to go over to Paradise Cove and do snorkeling, but- The turtles. The turtles, but I don't know if they'll be closed too. So we'll find out. Paradise Cove is right next door to Crystal Beach. So we're gonna see if this one's open. Well, I guess I'm technically in the right side of the car, but I'm on the wrong side of the road, so. All right, it's open, or at least it looks open. All right, so, not sure, but it looks like uh, you can do it all here without a tour. Okay, we are all set up. I'm gonna go snorkeling. So we're here at Paradise Cove. My mom decided to wear a shirt with snowmen on it today to celebrate being on, on a tropical <laughs> island. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's beautiful. She's gonna read her book, right? Yep, read my book. Okay, I'm gonna go snorkeling. I'm gonna watch your reaction when you jump in first. All right, maybe, uh, I'm afraid it's gonna be cold, but we'll see. We're still in the water. So feet are in. It was very cold at first, but then I got used to it. I'd say it's like 62, 62 degrees. Yeah, it ain't, no, no, it ain't no 80. <laughs> There's no way to know, but um, I'm about to go snorkel out there. Let me get mom in her snowman shirt in the Caribbean Ocean. It's really? Yeah. Although the water is actually nicer than I thought. The water is very nice, actually. It was very cold when I first stepped in, but, yeah, but once you it got, used to it. yeah, I got used to it. So I feel like I'll be fine snorkeling because I was a little nervous I'd be cold, but I think it's gonna be all right. Is that driftwood? Yep, driftwood. Back by the rocks, there's um, between the rocks and the first set of buoys, there's seagrass, and it uh, there's gonna be sea turtles there. So hopefully I can get that far out. Um, but otherwise, there's natural coral reefs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have my GoPro, so you'll get to see what I see. I'm gonna go in the water. So I'm a little bummed because I didn't bring my water shoes. The, um... hey, it's taping me. Oh. <laughs> Mom. I said to you, I see me. That's funny. Let's try this again. So I'm a little bummed that I didn't bring my water shoes because um, while it's mostly sand, there's a lot of sharp rocks. So having the water shoes would have been really helpful. Um, I brought my own snorkel and mask, so I'm not renting that. I didn't rent flippers. We'll see how my feet do. Um, but yeah, okay, time to go swimming. All right, my mask, my snorkel, my GoPro. I'm ready to go snorkeling. Okay, ready to go. Time to go snorkeling. I'm getting used to the temperature.
loosen our blank hair. It's a mess. It's gonna be a one big knot. Mom is reading her book. She gave me a heart attack. Actually, nervous breakdown. Couldn't see her out there. I kept asking the staff, do you see her? Do you see her? They saw her every time. I was like, where? <laughs> and he gave me some binoculars to look. Barely saw her that way too. <laughs> I'll tell you where I went, so let's see. I walked up, walked into the water, then I swam out to there. Once I was already out there, I swam across to about there. Yeah, right there, right there. And then I swam back all the way to here. I'd say I saw four turtles and they were somewhere in there. And the closer you get to the rocks is where you see the natural coral reef. So I braided my hair before going in. Hopefully makes it a little less knotty, but obviously <laughs> all this <laughs> is going on. So gonna have fun rushing it out. Okay. Right here, mixed in. Yeah. <laughs> He's putting on a show. You are coming up here, aren't you? Watch if he waves again. Oh, hello. Little afternoon snack. These are conch fritters. Give that a try. I had it once before and they were good, so. But it's been years. I'll pretend to be a food vlog channel right now. Um, these conchs are about 99.9% .9 bread. Every so often you get a little tiny piece of conch. Um, not what I was expecting, but I'm sure if someone didn't mind all the extra, it's probably delicious. Okay, this piece has a nice big chunk of conch in it. So we had a great day at Paradise Cove. I got to snorkel a bit, mom read her book, we had a little lunch, sort of. Um, we're gonna head over to another beach to try to catch sunset, um, which is about 20 minutes from here, and then we'll go have dinner. We came here to Valentina's Beach, which is also a museum. My guess is that this is what the museum is, is for this. I don't know what it was, but I'll try to find out and let you know. Or it's possible that like, there used to be a structure here. You can see there's some tiles right there. There's a post. There's like slabs of concrete. So it looks kind of like I'm standing on the foundation of something, so. This is the other side of that little point there. So we walked there, down this beach. There's my mom. Mom, wave. And then I came over here for some other beautiful views. Look at the size of that boat. No zoom. This is no zoom. Okay, it looks that big with no zoom. It looks like it's a freight boat. Got a ton of containers on it. That thing is massive. Absolutely massive. I found some hermit crabs, but they know I'm here.
We're realizing that big boat, we don't know where it went. Disappeared. I don't think it's that one. Unless it's the one. I don't think that was it either. What the heck? It's Lily. Jack Sparrow. Look it's it. one of those boats that disappear. It's so. completely gone. Unless one of those boats are it and it just looks different from far away. It is not here anymore. What is going on? That's not it. Okay. Today we have dinner with a view. So this restaurant does a shark feeding a few hours every night, seven, nine, and something else. But the sharks know it's almost the half hour till feeding time.